first couple of times I went to Kyoto, there was... I didn't feel anything particularly special about it. People had told me that it was a place I should visit and that there was a special feeling here, or a special atmosphere, but I was never really aware of it. Uh, it wasn't until I got really tired of Tokyo and I, I sort of escaped from Tokyo to Kyoto for a break that I experienced it in the way that people said I ought to experience it. Probably because of my age and, and mainly because of being brought up in a city, the countryside never really appealed to me. Um, everything, I took it for granted, very much so, and everything seemed to appear more like postcard views. I never really felt, I never felt anything from nature. That was the problem. I could see it and, and, it, and it's like the way people say they enjoy painting but they don't feel anything from paintings but uh, I think maybe it was maybe because through my drawing I began to have a greater appreciation of other people's work and I begin to I began to feel things from paintings from drawings or whatever which is something that also that never happened before maybe that opened up the senses to allow me to, to feel something from nature. Music uh, takes up more of my time. I mean, just thinking about the, the work I have done or I will do, um, I think that that would take up far much more of my time than, the, than the, my thoughts and, and actual uh, work on the drawings and on the poems. But they they allow me a break from from the writing um, by turning to the polaroids, which is a very physical thing. I think it, it's very because it's a manual thing, a manual job, if you like. It, it, it tends to relax me and allows me to turn back to the writing with a sort of uh, more open mind. I think it's dangerous to do too many things at once. It's, I think it's really bad to um, concentrate on uh, two or three things at the same time. I think that you then spread yourself too thin and do uh, neither one of them well enough. So I think with the drawing and the Polaroids and the writing, it's enough for me to be working on at the moment. But in the future, I would like to write and direct a, a short film. Um, I, I've, I've, I've always been interested in images and I'd like to do a film that allowed me to express myself totally through visual images. You feel an affinity with the person that took the photograph, painted the painting, composed the music or whatever. You feel you have something in common in some way because you're feeling something from it. It's when you feel something. But to go further, it's the, the essence of the artist is in the picture, the spirit, or the spirit that the artist communicates for is there within the music, within the photograph, within the painting, and that's what makes a, a piece of work valuable.
have to prepare for work. You don't have to prepare for it, actually planning it, but you have to rest, put your mind into, into the right state to think about working. So there is a sort of preparing of atmosphere, if you like, and building up of energy, in a way, mental energy. I always spend a long period of time at home, reading or work, but just doing minor things uh, before actually trying to work.